in order to fully flesh this out, you would have to understand where pride came from, which is, I mean, I guess, I don't know how, how well known this story is. It seems like it should be more, um, but the, you know, the, the concept of a pride parade and I'm, you know, I don't want to speak on behalf of, this is just my understanding of it is, uh, it's kind yeah, of, Jake, as a member of the community, <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny that it's all capitalist now. Like when you go out there and there's like rainbow colored cop cars and like uh, beer cans and stuff like that. Bank of America presents it's, being gay. It's it's if you know the history of it, very ironic because it started off in the Greenwich Village at the bar called Stonewall, where you know it was a gay bar way back in the day when that was extremely dangerous, and uh, all these trans women of color basically formed a blockade against an attack by the fucking police and there was sort of like a street battle and uh the parade is in so it sort of ideologically is in memory of that and and sort of uh sprung from that and so it's funny when you go out there and you go the people that just don't know that are like shaking hands with cops and yeah. rainbow uniforms and you go this is a fucking anti-cop thing in theory you well, know the whole thing is they beat the police yeah that's why it's a holiday that's right. why and that's why it's fucking badass right but uh in order for there to be a straight pride parade, it would imply the existence of a struggle like straight that. Straight Stonewall A battle. straight Stonewall battle, which in theory would be like, I mean, like a Bennigan's, I guess, is the bar. <laughs> like, a, like an Irish pub, probably. I mean, it's like a Boston. The most straight cultural, communal, like, like meeting site is an Irish pub. Irish pubs are the worst fucking thing in the world. I know they have a history and all this stuff, but just like what they are now, it's it's terrible ambiance, it's terrible food, it's just like a weird cultural touchstone for people that are vaguely in touch with an ethnicity that is no longer really you know, uh, American up, Irish so, yeah. pubs aren't even really Irish. They have like a flag up and then it's just, our bar is Mo- what you think of when you think of a bar. It's, we have yeah. serve, yeah. theme. They serve like mozzarella sticks yeah. and pizza. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a default bar. So that's where. So that's the, what you're defending. You're defending it against, <laughs> obviously, the PC police yeah. or the enemy of the, the, the straight Boston guy in this situation. Jezebel so, is having a drinks night at a Bannigan's and they decide <laughs> to citizens arrest the staff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's all these guys like, board up the fucking windows! <laughs> like, th- throwing plates of fucking uh, buffalo wings and shit around. I don't know. They yeah. can't stop me from saying that word! <laughs> um, I, I have one. I think um, straight Stonewall battle definitely starts you know at the line outside of a club where they're only letting ladies in mm. and they, they stop the the polo bros at the door and they gotta wait and they let six chicks in and then those bros have to fight the doorman <laughs> straight stone wall Hell it yeah. would escalate from there i don't know maybe more doormen <laughs> it's all door it's just doormen <laughs> <laughs> the real issue of straight pride is with doormen they're keeping you away from these these wonderful gals. Yeah, I, I mean, know. people have said that, like, we shouldn't poke fun at these guys for being, like, repressed because, like, that, for being, like, secretly gay uh, because that, like, plays into the idea that there's something wrong with being gay. Um, but, like, that's, I mean, that's to an extent, that's kind of what this is. Like, nobody, and I say that because, like, nobody is 100% straight. It's like, it's a spectrum. Everybody's on it. Like, people are <laughs> mostly straight, but nobody is like, you know, doesn't find the opposite sex attractive in any way whatsoever. Like, even I, you know, that every man has a, a G spot. It's just in our butt. And we don't <laughs> learn that. Go it's off. It's true. Anders. Where is this going? <laughs> well, everybody needs stimulation in some way. Like, <laughs> it's yeah. just a, it's just a, it's a spectrum of how much you need that anal gland, anal gland stimulant. Never like, stop this I've thought. Ne- I've need- never heard this opinion before. This is wild. Well, it's different. You know, if you think about it, like, uh, it's if you, some people want the full on penis and butt, <laughs> I can settle for, like, coffee. That's why I drink coffee, I think, because what does it gets coffee that. Have to do with because this? it gets your butt moving. It gets That's you out of anal gland. That's what you get out of coffee. Yeah, it stimulates my G spot. <laughs> <laughs> so, you can. <laughs> you can't, I can't. I don't even want to flesh this out because I don't think the end is gonna sound good. But <laughs> I don't even remember what I was gonna say anymore. Jesus. Anyway, fuck, well, uh, that fucking rules. <laughs>